Hello everyone, this is Sensei Starman welcoming you back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. Well, we're here in the swamp. Good news is we found a gate. Bad news is we also found the brothers who were not successful in their quest to rescue their sister. We also discovered that there are tons of red caps wandering around the place pretending they're it's sheep. And I believe that this is the witch's hut, but I don't feel like leaving uh, who knows what at our back. So I'm thinking maybe we should explore the rest of his swamp a ways. see a, a frog going hiss ribbit hiss. Oh uh, you know one with the weave. I've got this handy spell I haven't used yet. Squirrel of animal friendship can fence a piece not to attack you. I thought I had uh, communicate with animals rather than in friendship, but you know what? A baby baby. Okay, the save failed. It is uh, no longer going to attack us. Is that blood? No, never mind. Frog's entire body shakes. It ribbits erratically as if in pain. Animal handling. Come here, it's all right. Okay, it's difficulty 10. But I'm going to hedge my bets however I can because this strikes me as a really bad save to fail. <laughs> Which, of course, means I just failed it. But wait, I have inspiration points. That's better. It shies away, croaking a warning, eyes wide in terror. Don't worry, I'll leave you it alone. It croaks softly, calmed. But the frog's eyes watch your every movement. I'm going to take a wild guess that it is a uh, cursed person who is turned into a frog by... The hag. Because we've seen every ever possible witch cliche so far. Well, there is also a traveler's chest here. Which is an ingot and gold. Something's over here. Just found a pouch with a scroll of Ray of Frost and some gold. Side tea house. A skeleton with some gold on it.
Okay, that trap uh, apparently just got us. Seek and you shall find me. Indolence breeds madness. Wits and blades always sharp. Take two to All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Very well. Okay, yeah, and it just hit me that the tea house I was looking for was actually the marker, not the other thing. Although I'm starting to wonder, maybe it'd be a good idea to attack the red caps now, because we don't want them at our back when we go in there. On the other hand, there may be a chance that if we leave them out here and we get the hag off guard, maybe they won't be an issue. We can hope, right? I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. I appear to have forgotten my apology. How about a poem instead? Another bard who thinks humor is the same as talent. Cute. Hey, I you resemble know, that I remark. I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. The lady doesn't seem to be enjoying her dinner. Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Besides, you have bigger problems. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? It's been giving me psychic powers. It's not that big of an inconvenience. I told you that girl is none of your business. Keep that hole under your nose shut. She's a pregnant lady in distress. We can't just stand by and pretend she's not here. I'll talk about your wriggler, and that's it. Last warning. Fine. Can you remove the parasite? Quicker than you can say yes, auntie. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? I know a devil that's offered to remove it. Depends on the price. Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. And yeah, if you... Uh... Take it from your head. Kiss it for luck. Then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, so in case you hadn't stumbled across any of the earlier, many, 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 many hints earlier that Auntie Ethel is a hag. Um, remember the witches in Greek mythology who shared one eye between them? Same deal. Will my sight be damaged? A touch, but sure, you have two eyes in your skull, don't you? No need to be precious. You want one of my eyes? Why? I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. Uh-huh. That's a poor bargain. I'll try my luck elsewhere. Ethel, 
Can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. And you, my door is always open, Petal. Aunt Yettle is here for you. Okay, well, my journal just got updated with save Marian. If any of the she vanished, what happened to her? There's a potion of animal speaking. Simple poison recipe. Potion very healing, wooden chest. Of course, taking all this is going to count as theft. Okay, so there's something hidden behind the fireplace. I think we'll just go ahead and close that. Hello, sweetness. You're going to give me one of those precious peepers. Yeah. Poor deal. Try my luck elsewhere. As you wish. Should you change your mind, you know where to find me. Oh, can I push her into the fireplace? Maybe not, this but... Hi, right, what was that for? Careful. Uh, a bit of a fall there, but... Yeah, I get the feeling she's going to try and run for the secret passage. Oh, and they got in the door right away. Uh, 
Well, let's see. Do we want to try and fight the Red Caps or run through the secret passage? Well, we're going to have to come back through here sooner or later, so... see everybody to bless them. Let's disengage first. That was bad. Push my luck oh. again, no kidding.
successfully pushed him down. Shakespeare quote. holding Leia's L, not that was targeting her, but you know what? That just killed me. Okay, well, I'm out of spells, and I'm out of healing, at least I think I am. Thing that might work. Well, let's 
see if we can make it harder for them to stand up. Blinded him. Okay, well we survived that, but just barely. On the bright side, that does mean we now have the witch's entire cottage to loot, including all of the healing potions I saw up on the top floor. Well, I am going to go ahead and do that off camera, and after that I think I will be uh, taking a long rest because we are out of spells. But uh, we will pick up from there next time. But thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you are so inclined. And we'll see you next time as we continue exploring the Witch's Hut. Take care until then.